case diagram shown in the figure, four samples of the same composition are heated to temperatures marked by A, B, C and D. At which temperature will a sample get solutionized the fastest? Fine friends, let us try to understand this question. This is the question which was given in gate 2016. Now, if you see this question, this question belongs to a treatment known as uh, age hardening or precipitation hardening. So, you might have heard about it. You know, precipitation strengthening or age hardening, that is the technique, precipitation strengthening or age hardening is a strengthening technique. Now, to that particular strengthening technique, this question is related. Now, invariably, this precipitation strengthening or age hardening consists of two stages. One is called as solutionizing, solutionizing and the second technique is known as precipitation hardening. Second part is called as the precipitation heat treatment. It is called as precipitation heat treatment. So, basically, basically in precipitation strengthening or age hardening, there are two stages. First stage is called as solutionizing or solution heat treatment and second stage of heat treatment is called as precipitation heat treatment. Let us try to understand what is this solutionizing because the question is directly related to solutionizing only. If you see the statement here, at which temperature will a solution, will a sample get solutionized fastest? That is what is given here. Now, try to understand what is the meaning of solutionizing, friends. Solutionize means converting a two-phase mixture into a single-phase solid solution. Now, let us try to understand. This is the composition of this is the composition of the alloy that is being considered. This is the composition of the alloy that is being considered. At room temperature, this composition alloy will contain two phases. We call those two phases as alpha plus beta phases. Now, if you heat this particular alloy from room temperature all the way up to temperature B, B up to B when you heat, let us say for example, B is a point here below the solvers line. At B also, still there are two phases that are present. If you go to higher temperature like C, at C there is only one phase present. That means what? When this alloy is heated to a temperature from room temperature A to temperature C, alpha plus beta two phase mixture will get transformed into single phase solid solution. When two phase mixture is converted into single phase solid solution, that is what is called as the solutionizing. Therefore, you have to go all the way up to temperature C. That is the answer for us. Now, some students always have a query that is, why do not we go up to D? Friends, if you go up to D, the phases that you are going to have here at D will be alpha plus L. That means, solid solution plus liquid. There are two phases. Liquid phase is one phase, solid solution is another phase. But what is the meaning of solutionizing? Solutionizing means converting two-phase mixture into single-phase solid solution. Now, two-phase mixture is alpha plus beta. It is converted into single-phase solid solution alpha only by heating up to temperature C. That is the reason why the correct answer for this question is, correct answer for this question is given by choice C. Choice C indicates point C. Now, if you, you have to, in, so after solutionizing, you are going to rapidly cool the specimen to room temperature. That is the reason why they use the term fastest, right? Fastest. Why, why they have used the term fastest? After solutionizing, the specimen will be cooled to room temperature speedily. Now, rapidly by quenching, that is the reason why when you go from this point temperature C to room temperature by quenching, that is called as the fastest to cooling. Quenching is the fastest to cooling. That is how this term is used. So, solutionizing means converting two phase mixture into single phase solid solution. So, from room temperature A, you have to go up to temperature C in order to get the solutionizing done. Therefore, correct answer is given by choice C.